before I get into the conclave and sort of the role that the conclave is kind of playing in the in the larger you know five meo DMT cultural scene, um, maybe I can get a sense again going back to the one of these common questions, uh, the difference between five meo DMT and what's often called bufo, because um, there is a difference, and uh, maybe you can just talk about that a little bit. Sure. Um... Yeah, where where can I start? I, I mean, basically, I like to start uh, answering that question, which is a very common one. In that, um, if there was no 5-MeO-DMT in the secretion of the Sonoran Desert Toad, nobody would be smoking it. And so, 5-MeO-DMT is this essence that exists in a high concentration in the bufo. And so there's an essential, not only a essential component, but there's a certain function and reason why we smoke Bufo alvarius. And it's the same reason or function uh, that is offered by the synthetic or isolated molecule 5-MeO-DMT. Experientially, once the fullest expression or the complete and absolute uh, uh, diminishment of the default mode network or the sense of I, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, how you got there. All of how you got there are just fingers pointing towards the moon. And it's really the experience itself, um, I think, I'd like to think, is why we, why anybody would ingest this and put this into their body so on an experiential level at the fullest expression um, i don't see a difference um, in and around the entourage perhaps of getting to that full um, release as it's often called i would say that there's a slight experiential difference that can be sensed or noticed and i would call that the spirit of the toad and perhaps it's the the bouquet effect of all of the different components that are in that organic substance i don't know very quickly a visualization that i use is if i imagine this skyscraper we're in an elevator we press the five button or we press the toad button and we're directing that elevator to go to the top of the building. That's what it's designed to do. It goes to the penthouse and beyond. Both the five and the toad button, that's where they go. That's where it's designed to go. That's its function. With the pure molecule, the elevator shaft is precise, completely straight. With the bufo alvarius, Perhaps the elevator shaft has a slight wobble to it. Hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, and additionally, one is a likely a synthetic chemical, and the other one is derived from the organic source of a of the Sonoran Desert Bufo alvarius toad. Uh, yeah. 